Hello everyone and welcome back. It has been a while since I've recorded but I'm so excited to share with you my budget with me for October 2022. It's It's been a while since I've felt organised with my finances. I've gone through a period of change where I've, been, where I've recently started a new role and I've had to wait a couple of months to get paid. So I'm so thankful to finally have been paid and whilst I was paid this month we had to buy a new car which is super exciting and I'm really happy about that um, but it means that we which it means that we didn't actually we didn't actually save much for the house this month so October is going to be the first month in a long while where we're able to contribute towards our house savings so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to list down I'm going to list down our income for the month now I don't actually share our income um, especially my partners as I don't really feel it's fair to share his income online but I will share with you all of the areas of our budget apart from the house deposit savings which also I will keep private for now. The second thing I'm going to do is I'm going to list down the bills so I have to admit I'm not entirely happy with the order I wrote this in. I had it sort of drafted on the scrap piece of paper because that's what I tend to do when it comes to my planners just so that I avoid making mistakes and I was so tempted to just start a new spread and write again um, but actually I've decided no no I will just keep this and then next time I'll just make sure I've got it in the right order so I'm just listing all my bills a mixture of needs a mixture of wants um, and also like I've noticed that there's a few things where I'm not entirely certain of the actual monthly costs and I do need to cross check this with my bank statements so I'll probably wait till payday and then I'll just double check the amounts are accurate because I do notice that they do change like now I include pocket money and um, my son has a go Henry card and a direct debit comes out every Sunday for five pounds I have to admit we're not used to utilizing this to its full extent and um, but I'm just glad to give my son some pocket money and he knows he's got it there and um, also what I'm super super excited about in October is my investments I am finally in a place mentally and financially in a place where I feel like I can confidently start increasing my investments. So right now, over the past few months, I've been investing about £25 a month uh, just on an app called Wealthify. I don't particularly know much about it. I haven't really researched it, but it seems to be good. Um, but I'm going to also increase my investments to have premium bonds and then also a stocks and shares ISA as well. What I'm doing now is I'm just listing all the actual amounts. I've included nursery as well, which is £490, so expensive just for two days. Um, it's also a reminder that I really do need to look into the help. I've forgotten what it's called. I think it's child tax. Get that sorted because it's been way too long. My credit card I've left at zero because I know that I clear the balance off every month so I sort of clear it off and then I spend on it again and my car insurance has increased because I drive a different car now so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to list all my savings this is the next part I guess these are my sinking funds and savings so sinking funds are savings for larger expenses I've got Christmas down at £100, healthcare for like dentists and glasses, those types of things. Um, and then birthdays as well, because it's like it's my son's birthday in a couple of months. And also I like to just lessen the impact, although I would like to save so much more. So these are just my monthly amounts for now. Um, then I've got savings. So this is the house deposit, which I am going to keep private for now. Um, but I've got my house deposit savings that we will be saving this month and then emergency fund at £50, which I'll be topping up. Then we're on to our final part of the budget, which is spending. So this is all my daily spending. So my groceries are going to be about £350 a month. I've Well, I've given myself a budget of that. I used to give myself a budget of £250, but in this current climate, it just feels unobtainable. So £350, which sounds absolutely ridiculous. I mean, I don't know if I can sit comfortably with that, like knowing and choosing to spend £350 a month on groceries. I feel like I need to use some more grocery saving hacks um but let me know your thoughts are you spending a lot of money on groceries are you spending about 350 are you spending less how much are you spending i would love to know petrol although the prices have gone up 
um, it's much more affordable for me because I really do short journeys around the area. I don't travel far. We don't do much when it comes to traveling. Um, and then we've got our other things as well. So we've got like treats, um, my son, daughter. So when, when my children have a budget each, it's maybe I want to buy them a new toy or maybe I want to buy them some new clothes. Um, I've also added a separate category for school. So my son's actually got a bit more allocated to him. And that's because he has a school trip that he'll be going on next year. Um, so we're paying that in instalments. And often there's always a couple of events that are happening as well. Then we've got um, clothing and miscellaneous and takeaways. Now I've made this, I, I need some more clothing. I need some more jeans and some uh, sports gear because I've recently started going to the gym. So the miscellaneous fund to help cover um any sort of anything that's missing in my budget any unexpected expenses it can cover that but i've also included a takeaways budget because i really felt that i have struggled in regards to my takeaways i have when life has become really busy we have bought more takeaways than we should have done to put it bluntly and this is the only area of our budget where i'm really like i really do struggle with um you know it's always so busy so i'm so tired working full time looking after the kids we've not had a car it's just been non-stop and um, but i'm on a mission so i've allocated a budget instead of including treats i want to see exactly how much i spend on takeaways a month so I've allocated £50, which is basically about two takeaways a month. Every other week, we can have a takeaway and we'll see how we go from there. But yeah, also now I'm just heading and I'm just adding in the dates for the bills. Um, really messy. I also really didn't write this that neatly as well. Um, but yeah, adding in all the dates. And maybe I might reorder this so that it's in order of when the bills are due. That might be quite good because not every bill I can get for the 8th, which I really do like it being on the 8th, but not every bill I can. So next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight all my spending pots i like to just highlight these because later on throughout the month when i'm tracking my spending i can sort of color code what i'm spending and for what category they're in as well and um, so i find it really useful for that and um, but i saw some lovely highlighters they were like some creams and brown highlighters um on instagram the other day and i've been thinking gosh you know it's been a while since i bought some highlighters and i would really love to change it up and have some different colors so i'm really tempted to go and have a look and get some different highlighters um but yeah this is what i'm doing i'm highlighting this and then the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to have a look at i'm going to total up each one of my spending areas so i'm going to total up my savings and um, which i won't share on here because it includes my house deposit and um, i'm going to total up my spending which comes up to about 800 pounds and then i'm going to total up my bills and can i just say with the spending almost half of that is groceries which is so like oh shocking to me um but yeah and then i'm also going to total up the bills which comes up to 872 pounds um so yeah that's that's october 2022's budget and i'm so excited to get the ball rolling and work with this budget i'm really excited to make progress towards my house saving goals and yeah to really get diving and start using my planner more as well so anyway thank you so much for watching and i will speak to you soon bye we got some history, baby